Hey, it's Steve from TechGrove. Today we're diving into how to permanently remove those frustrating FRP locks on Android devices. Whether you've picked up a used phone or just can't remember your Google credentials, I'll walk you through multiple methods to get your device unlocked and back in action. Let's get started. Remember to use this responsibly. It's meant for those who own their device and need to unlock FRP. We don't support illegal activities like bypassing security on stolen devices. Please respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Let's get started. First, go to safeunlocks.com, navigate to services, and choose the FRP unlock option. Start by entering your name and email address. Make sure your email is correct and accessible because you'll receive all the unlocking info there. Then, select the brand of the device you want to unlock and enter your IMEI number, accepting the terms and conditions. To find the IMEI of your FRP locked device, check the original box of the device, the back of the device near the bottom, the device settings usually under About Phone, or dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on the device to display the IMEI number. After entering all the necessary information, click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order, and you should receive an email with the unlocking information. Follow the steps shown in the email to activate your order, and we recommend watching the tutorial video to understand how to do it. After completing the activation process, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order. Ensure your device is turned off before doing so. You will receive a new email confirming that the unlocking process has been completed successfully. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that the unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for our viewers. To participate, simply like this video, subscribe and comment with your Android phone model, your IMEI, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you will be automatically enrolled. There are several ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. First, you can contact the original owner of the device and ask them to remove the lock using their Google account information. This is the most straightforward method and ensures you are complying with all legal requirements. Finally, if you purchase the device from a retailer, you might be able to return it or exchange it for one that is not FRP locked. This is particularly useful if you discover the issue shortly after purchase. Using these methods helps ensure you stay within legal boundaries while resolving the FRP lock issue on your phone. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to comment if everything worked or if you have any questions.